like to start off by introducing yourself. Tell us your name, the university that you're studying at, what you're studying, as well as the country that you belong to. Yep. Uh, I'm Hee Jun. I'm from South Korea. And currently, I'm studying at the University of British Columbia, uh, especially Okanagan campus. And I'm second year in Bachelor of Science program, majoring uh, mathematics and also physics. Thank you, Hijan. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice um, to meet you too. Would you like to start off by uh, providing us with some insight about the application process to UBC? Uh, did you need to submit any competitive scores? Um, any documents that were required, like any statements of purposes, any letters of recommendations, or any essays that you had to write, um, as well as were there any interview rounds? Okay, so first of all, uh, I didn't have to uh, submit any competitive scores, like SAT or any other, but I just submitted my high school grades and my high school diploma. And I think it's only for international students. Uh, so I submitted my IELTS grade. It was, it should be overall above 6.5. And uh, there's no interviews. So, but you should submit your personal profile. It's kind of essay, but there is a uh, few questions and I could uh, explain it for you. So for example, okay, uh, they ask you, how would you respond to a problem and how would you make it right? Or uh, how would you uh, solve it? And why your response is that? So I answered this about my high school dormitory experience because um, I wanted to get better grades, but at home I couldn't concentrate for studying. So, you know, that's why uh, I applied for dormitory and the outcome was good. So I just wrote that. And one more example, it's um, your school experiences, like your clubs and um, activities. But uh, I recommend that you shouldn't just you know, list all of them, but also um, why you did certain activities. So, um, this essay is actually explaining about your um, dream, I think. So you must say why I wrote this certain example in your essay to, you know, um, kind of exaggerate your experience to show your dream. Yeah. And uh, last example is, um, I think it's fake uh, question, but it was what is important to you and why? So I wrote, um, being thankful is my um, important. And like, I wrote, what is happiness and, and all of that. Um, so, Oh, so briefly, um, you don't just have to write high school experiences, but also um, your experience from your life to show that um, you are this person or that person, and you must describe yourself well, and you must know yourself. Uh, like, yeah, you should define yourself. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. You provide some really good insight, which I think will be really valid to future students applying to UBC, especially 
um, actually telling us what kinds of questions they asked in the interviews, which can be a daunting process for some students. Um, my next question for you, Hejan, is um, how was your study life abroad? Could you please give us some insight into the facilities, like the libraries, the research labs, as well as the study pressure mm -hmm. um, or competitive nature of the school and your friend and, and peer circle groups? Okay. So uh, I really love the library of my campus. It's not huge and enormous, but um, there are um, quite many people around a library. And I loved it because uh, especially first floor is not quiet, but rather you could talk with other mates and communicate. So uh, to share ideas and there are whiteboards to work with your homeworks or anything. So I like that. And I also uh, like commons building. It's kind of um, um, multi, uh, like there are many rooms and stuff there, but there uh, yeah, particularly meeting rooms that I like. You can uh, make reservation for it and you could write anything on the wall and like discuss with your friends about um, any topics that you like for your clubs or for your class, anything. So that's what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, yeah, um, yeah, in that atmosphere, I think my peers didn't want to compete, but just wanted to study together about some topics that we learned. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I didn't feel that I had to compete for my grades. Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Then, Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Um, the next question, um, apart from your academics, what does UBC at the Okanagan campus have to offer in terms of co-curricular activities? Are there any like clubs or sports that you play? Um, what about um, any like um, school festivals as well as the diversity um, that um, is there at UBC? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um... Uh, first of all, there are many clubs here because um, all students are from around the globe and um, you can feel the culture. So uh, there are Indian clubs, Korean clubs, and also uh, I saw one club that played with long swords and I think that's from medieval uh, Europe. Uh -huh. So that's interesting. So you could enjoy all stuff from uh, different cultures. And secondly, as I say, there are many cultures here. There are many festivals. And you could also participate as um, volunteers. That's really good for your um, experience. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I really like the nature of Okanagan Valley. So Okanagan campus is in Kelowna and despite it's in Canada, it's quite warm here and um, uh, it's still cold, but um, you know, compared to other uh, cities is warm, so you can enjoy some sunshine. <laughs> um, That's really yeah. nice. Warm winds. Yeah. And yeah. I love many trees on the campus. That's good. Great. Thank you. Um, 
my next question is about your department that you're studying in. Uh, could you shed some light on the student-teacher ratio as well as the teaching approach and um, the course relevance to future jobs as well as the diversity and attitude of the faculty and students? Uh, yeah, sure. So my faculties, um, physics, and oh yeah, sorry, department, and also mathematics and computer science. So, for example, um, like uh, companies like Microsoft and Google, uh, come to visit our uh, university students, and we share experience, I think. I'm not sure because I didn't participate, but yeah, I saw many companies coming to our, uh, oh yeah, UBC. And there are also research opportunity in third year. Uh, so for example, we are good at medical physics and the course here is really relevant to the actual job they can have because uh, we learn about radiation therapy uh, or treatment. So yeah, very relevant. And okay, so, but it's physics for application, but also we have opportunity for theoretical background like me. I. So my major is combined major in mathematics and physics. It's for theoretical physics that other who wants to learn um, mathematics also with physics so they can study more and go to graduate school. Mm -hmm. Great, that's yeah. pretty cool that um, you guys have a diverse range of, you know, um, things like that, which really help um, students when they, once they graduate, actually they've already had some sort of experience, which is um, really, really yeah. good. Um, my last thing for you today, Heejin, is could you please uh, leave us with one tip or piece of advice uh, for future students who are planning to apply to uh, UBC, specifically the Okanagan campus? Mm -hmm. um, I just have one like uh, sentence for it. So I also learned it in my university life. So uh, don't be afraid and ask any questions about UBC. So um, last, like last year before I entered UBC, I was afraid that uh, if anyone could reply to my email or my questions, but, um, you know, we all are um, good for questions and, you know, we welcome your questions and just don't be afraid to ask. Great. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time, Heaton. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, too.